Hey guys, so if you remember, I have a 29 gallon right here that has my baby red eared slider turtle. And as you can see, it's a glass tank. So there are a lot of pros to glass tanks, like being able to see your turtle and get a better viewing angle basically. But there's also some drawbacks. So this right here is just a base. So this right here is just a basic 29 gallon tank. It runs like $29, not too bad. But it's once you start running into tanks like this, 55, 75, 90, even like 150 gallons, that's when they can get a little expensive. So today we're going to be improvising with this pond, I guess you could say. So this is a 40 gallon tub that I got from Tractor Supply and it used to be my goldfish pond. Well now it's going to be my little temporary turtle pond. I am still going to keep my turtle in the 29 gallon tank because he's not super big. But I thought I'd go ahead and make this video today for you guys on how I'm going to set this thing up. All the equipment I'm going to use. So if you wanted to do this or if your turtle has outgrown its tank, this is a great option and a pretty cost effective option most of the time for your turtle. So in addition to our 40 gallon tub, here's the equipment I'm going to be using. So we have a UVB light, which is right here. That is what provides basically the sun rays to the turtle, which they need to survive. We have the heat lamp and the basking dock, which will create a warm spot for the turtle to bask. We also have some assorted fake plants right here just to give some cover for the turtle. A canister filter to keep the water clean and circulated. And then because this is going to be a bare bottom pond, and because we're not going to have any gravel, because turtles can eat gravel, so it's not recommended to have gravel in there. I'm going to be using a wave maker to kind of angle at the bottom of the pond to sweep up any debris that collects on there to get it moved into the filtration system. So I'm going to go ahead and start by cleaning out the pond. So I went ahead and added some water in there just to kind of rinse everything out and then go ahead and get the leaves and stuff off the sides. So I'm going to go ahead and just vacuum this out real quick. Also because the temperature might get a little bit cold in the pond for the turtle, I have an underwater heater. This will just keep the water heated enough for the turtle, keep it at a tropical temperature so the turtle doesn't get too cold. Water's out, we just have a few things to do. I'm gonna go ahead and start filling this up with some clean water, then we'll go ahead and get our lighting situated. All right, so far we have the UVB light, the heat lamp, the dock. Here's our water right here, and we still have to set up the filter, the wave maker, put the heater in, and then get some plants in there. All right guys, so here it is, all completely set up. Let's go ahead and take a little deeper look at it. So here we are besides the pond, I guess you could say. Like I said, we have the heat lamp right here, the basking light or the UVB light right here, the basking dock. Here we added some fake plants just for cover. We have our canister filter right there. Here we have our wave maker right here, which is pushing water in a circular pattern. And then down here we have our heater. So that's pretty much it for the turtle pond. Pretty basic setup and can be done pretty much fairly on the cheap. I believe this tub was like $40, your lighting's basically, you know, you can get that wherever. Same with the dock, the plants, you can really use whatever filter you want as long as it's suited for this size of a area. Now all we have to do is go ahead and put the turtle in here. I did leave the water level a pretty big gap because just the distance from the heat lamp to the dock, you can raise that as high as you want, except for you want to make sure that your turtle cannot escape. So if your turtle, say four inches, keep it at least like five inches or so below this because you don't want your turtle to climb out. So this is a 40 gallon tub, so it will technically be good up to a four inch turtle because you want around 10 gallons of water, basically, or 10 gallons of tank area for every inch of turtle on the shell. So now all we have to do basically is just go ahead and put my turtle in here. So here is my red eared slider turtle. We're gonna go ahead and place him under the heat lamp right now. And that is pretty much it for this. He'll go around and get down and swim any second now. So that is pretty much it for the video. Here he is in his new tank, a little bit frantic right now. But this tank should do pretty good for him. I'm probably gonna move him back into his normal aquarium just for the meantime, but this will definitely be a home for him once he goes ahead and gets a little bit bigger. That is pretty much it for this video. I'll link most of this stuff that I can find on Amazon. I'll link it down in the description. If you like that floating dock, I'll link that down there. Same thing with the light, I'll link that down there as well. And I'll try to find this tub on Amazon as well, just to go ahead and give you kind of a reference of price. But that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Good.